CIS control number five is about the secure configurations of hardware and software on mobile devices, laptops, workstations, and servers. The default configurations for operating systems and applications are normally geared towards ease of deployment and ease of use, not security. Because of this, default settings such as passwords, open ports, or outdated protocols can be more easily exploited by hackers. Developing configuration settings with good security properties is a necessary but extremely complex task, requiring the analysis of hundreds or even thousands of options. And once IT has completed this arduous task, they aren't exactly done. Sorry guys. Security configuration settings must be continually managed to avoid security decay as software is updated or patched, new security vulnerabilities are reported, and configurations are tweaked to allow the installation of new software or support new operational requirements. If not, attackers will find opportunities to exploit both network accessible services and client software. So what should we do? Establish, implement, and actively manage the security configuration of mobile devices, laptops, servers, and workstations. Maintain documented security configuration standards for all authorized operating systems and software. Perform any and all remote administration of systems over encrypted channels utilizing multi-factor authentication. Utilize a security content automation protocol compliant configuration monitoring system to verify all security configuration elements, catalog approved exceptions, and provide alerts when unauthorized changes occur. Contact OCD Tech today with any questions and to find out more about the Center for Internet Security Top 20 Critical Security Controls.